Hello, I am going to talk you through some directions for your upcoming tissue box project. So I'm going to get to the project first. I'm going to go into the course. It's in the tissues folder. Here's the tissue box project. All right, it is not open for you yet, um, but I want to show you where I got the direction. So I'm going to click here, which is the uh, link to the file for the directions. It says I have to choose a virtual tissue box project or a physical tissue box project. If you have another idea, like if there's something you're like, oh my gosh, this is brilliant. I could show the so same information in a different way. Uh, ask Mrs. Jenkins or Ms. B first. And if it's a great idea, I'm sure that we'll approve it. What I want to show you first is the actual physical tissue box requirements. This is what I am recommending you do. If we were in person, 100%, we would have to do it this way. Okay. Um, the reason I'm recommending this way is it gets you away from the screen for a little bit. You have the directions, but you're not staring at a screen the whole time. This is important in this environment. Okay. So what you're going to need to do um, for this project is get a tissue box. I'm going to enlarge myself a little bit just so I can kind of walk you through it. So it says um, tissue box are ideal, but use a box where all sides measure between four and 12 inches. So nothing tiny and nothing gigantic. Okay. I have here an empty tissue box. It doesn't have to be empty. Uh, however, I'm going to use an empty one because I could glue it and then not have to worry about that being a problem once I was finished. Okay. The first direction is to cover the box with paper. Okay. So I have paper here. I'm going to start by putting the paper across like this. I have some tape available. So I'm going to tape on one side, go over. Okay, so now I've taped, so now it looks like this. Uh, I'm an expert at present wrapping. So bend and then fold down like this. All right, and then I'm going to tape that again here. I'm going to continue uh, again. I fold at the edges. Press it down. Okay. And then I am going to tape it. So, so far, I have some of it covered, but not finished. So, I'm going to need another sheet of paper. What I recommend is this part you use as the bottom. The only thing you need to put on the bottom of the box is your name. So, it's going to be easy once this is all covered with paper to put your name here or here and not have to worry about this part. You have a lot more to put on the top of the box. So again, I recommend this if you're using a tissue box, which is really the point because it's kind of punny using a tissue box for your tissue project. Okay. So again, the top, that top is neatly covered. I've begun working on the sides. Okay. So in whatever method you do, you're going to need to cover the box with paper. And then you're going to follow the directions. On the bottom, you need to include your name. That's it. Again, I suggest this is the bottom because that deals with this funky spot. Then I'm going to look at the top. So how do I know which is the top? Well, here's the bottom. Flip it. Here's the top. The name of an organ you choose. So like the stomach, liver, brain, okay, whatever muscle, whatever um, <clears throat> organ you choose. Okay, you're going to put the name of that organ. Write it clearly, not in teeny tiny lettering on the top of the box. An image of the organ. So you could draw it or you could print it, but it has to be in color and at least one function of the organ. So a job of that organ. Okay, so that's the covers covering the box, the bottom and the top. Again, my covering is incomplete. I just want to show you how to start. Okay. All right, I'm going to, so I can see the rest. On the side, so whatever side you want to start with, it doesn't matter. You're going to write connective tissue, that's uh, your heading. You're going to give me some characteristics and description of this tissue type. 
you're going to give me the location and function of this tissue specific to that organ. So you chose it's connective tissue first. Where is connective tissue found in the stomach or in the brain or in the liver or in the large intestine or in the thyroid gland? Where is it found in the organ you chose? And then a microscopic um, image in color. You can print it or draw it. And, but you, no matter if it's printed or drawn, you have to add two labels at least to that image. Okay? And explain what the image is showing. So it shouldn't just be random. I shouldn't have to guess. You could say cross-section of the stomach lining, whatever it is. Okay? Then you're going to repeat the process for the remaining sides, but cover epithelial tissue, nervous tissue, and muscle tissue. Okay. This is what I prefer. Again, it's getting you away from the screen for a little bit, please. But if that is, is not possible for you, then you are going to choose the other option. Uh, just reminding you, <clears throat> uh, be creative, be original, be neat. Uh, I don't want to lose you to lose points for that. Okay, so here's the virtual tissue box requirements. Here is um, a link to the sample project, which I have open right here, okay? So I'm gonna look at this. Slide one should be your name, an image that has all four tissue types and a title. So here I found one that had all four. If you don't find an image that has all four, well, use four images, okay? Think about it. Title, I used a simple title. You just have to have one and your name. The next slide is going to be the name of the organ, the image of the organ, and two functions. So it would look like this. The name of the organ I picked, an image of the organ, and then two functions of that specific organ. Then the next section, it says connective tissue has to be on two slides at least. Every slide except for references should have a different image. So I need a heading. I need the characteristics and description. I need the location and function of that tissue. So again, connective tissue to this organ, and then a microscopic image in color with two labels added by you, and then explain what the image is showing. So again, it's very similar to the one you have to do on an actual box. So I'm gonna show you, here's connective tissue. I'm gonna put the description and characteristics here the location in the stomach, so where I'm going to find connective tissue in the stomach, and the function of that connect, connective tissue in the stomach. And then here is a slide. On the next slide, here's where I put a microscopic image. Notice I have added two labels, and then I'm going to tell you what this image shows. I have it on two slides. You could split it up onto three if you want, but again, you need at least two slides per tissue type. So then here's the epithelial tissue, but remember, I'm going to split this in two slides, but this is everything I need. Nervous tissue split it among two slides at least, but that's the information. Same with muscle tissue. Your last slide should be your references. Okay, and you can split the references among um, multiple slides if you need to, but it should cover your images and your content. Okay, and that reminds me the last part for your physical tissue box um, for submission. So you're going to submit the project and you have to include a submission of your references. So you're going to either have to write them out on paper or type them up. Um, so it's easier to type them because you're just going to copy and paste the sites and put them in a document titled references and submit it with your project. When you submit the physical, you need, I need six images. I need one of every single um, side of the box, okay, plus the document. So you're going to submit seven things, six pictures, and then a document that has your references. When you submit the virtual, I just need one submission that is a PowerPoint or a shared Google slide document of what you created, okay? And that is how you're going to complete your tissue box project.